I have a 2000 watt inverter generator made by Wynn. And right now when I change the oil, I kind of guess about when it needs to be done um, because I don't write anything down of how many hours I ran it. The manual says to change the oil every 25 hours or every three months or 50 hours. So I'm not sure what they mean by that. So I'm going to plan on changing the oil maybe about every 30, 40 hours. So I have this hour meter that my neighbor gave to me. He bought an extra one. Uh, his name's Don Hack. Thanks, Don. So the way it installs is you have this pickup wire here. You wrap it around about an inch and a half from your spark plug boot on your ignition wire. Um, I was going to mount it on the top up here above the spark plug. The spark plug is in here. Let me show you where the spark plug is. It's right there. And then just run my wires down. But then I start thinking about I camp sometimes in damp um, areas and I was afraid of moisture just coming and sitting in here on this little screen here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run my wires from here down, fold around in here and then I'm going to come out here. I pulled this cover off. There's four screws and the screw off the dial and pulled that off. I don't use this USB port, so I'm just going to mount it right here. And I'm going to mount it with the uh, two-sided 3M tape. And then I'm going to drill a little hole right through here to come through and put my pickup wire in this slot. I would mount it lower, but I can't because I'll show you behind here. Behind here, this is in the way, and there's no way for me to go in through this wall and into the cavity. So I'm just going to come through this hole right here, and then right into the back of the panel to my hour meter. So I'll show you how I do this. Okay, I got my five wraps, maybe six wraps around here. My zip tie on here. They only give you two zip ties. I happen to have more. So um, I use like two on here so I can hold it in place real tight. And then I fed it around here and down. And then in that back hole back there. Right back in there. I went back there. And then I came around here through this hole. I drill the hole at the back to come into the front right here and then my hour meters there. I have my 3M tape I applied here. It looks like it was supposed to come with it, 3M tape, but it didn't. And then I took the wire and pushed it in this groove right here. You can see and pushed it in place with a small screwdriver. So I'm going to go ahead right now and uh, mount this thing up here and put this cover back on. I'll show you what it looks like. Here it is in place right here. Cover's back on. The, the uh, dial's back on. So what it says is to run this thing when I start it up through the little hour dial right here, uh, like a sundial. It'll, it'll light up or just be moving, showing that it's working. And then every six minutes, uh, this will add to it because it's intense. Um, it went through very well. I could have actually lowered this down and not covered up the USB port. Um, but I decided to just cover that USB port up since I don't use it. And then just so you know, I... I don't know if I know if I showed you this. I, I zip tied the wire along this one, this other wire that was in here, making sure that I wasn't touching any uh, hot parts in the motor, the muffler or anything. 
or touching the throttle right here. So I'm going to go ahead and give this thing a start and um, see if it works and I'll get back to you. Here it is running. It seems to be working fine. So let's go in here to the uh, power meter and take a look at what it's doing. You can see on the far left So if you like this video, uh, feel free to subscribe and you'll see uh, future videos that I come out with. I have 50 or so videos out so far. Give me a thumbs up or thumbs down. I appreciate your comments and reviews on this and any thoughts or anything else I could have done uh, to make this job go better. Thanks for watching everybody and happy camping.